So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today we're gonna take a quick look at yet another Archon weapon and this time around it is going to be the Verdelac. Now this is one of the weapons that you can only obtain post new war and you get the blueprint for it by doing armor bounties in either Plains of Eidolon or Orb Valles. And to build it you will of course need the weapon blueprint but then you will also need 12 armor isoplasts which you get from the armor bounties as well, 20 mortars horn which you get from the mortars lungfish, a fish that you can catch in the Plains of Eidolon, 10 intact sentient cores which you can either get by hunting vomvalist in the Plains of Eidolon during the night or from sentients on Lua, and finally 6 star amarast which you get from from mining in Orb Valles. The Verdilac is a Master Rank 13 whip that does 213 damage per hit and out of that 106.5 is slash, 85.2 is puncture and 21.3 is impact. It comes with solid attack speed of 1, it has a very good 30% crit chance and above average 2.5 times crit multiplier and very nice status chance at 21%. But that's not all because as you may have noticed already in the gameplay this weapon comes with its own unique mechanic. So first of all it has a forced electricity proc on a slam so if you slam down any enemy that's nearby is gonna have electricity proc on them which is a nice bit of crowd control and secondly it is its own unique block combo so if you do the standard block combo it will switch it into a different one that fires out a projectile with each swing. This projectile seems to do pure toxin damage but it will combine into other elements so in this case I added cold on the weapon so the resulting projectile is actually doing viral. The multipliers on the combo are quite high the three strikes do 400%, 200% and 500% damage respectively and the projectile seems to benefit from these multipliers as well. And the projectile seems to have a range of about 35 meters with infinite punch through but it does suffer from follow through so every enemy you hit is gonna reduce the damage the next enemy takes. Now when it comes to the build on the Verdilac there are many different things you can do here. So I would highly recommend you experiment with different build setups. Today I'm going to show you two different builds and they both work really well. The first one is a more sweaty viral slash setup where we go with the standard hybrid scaling. So we have condition overload, blood rush, weeping wounds and organ chatter for the damage, crit and status. We have berserker fury for attack speed. Then we're going to put on unranked virulent scourge and vicious frost for a tiny bit of viral and finally bus skill to really boost our slash. All this setup is about is taking advantage of the fact that the projectile cannot proc slash so we use the whip to proc slash and the projectile to proc viral. It's definitely the more powerful of the two setups that I'm gonna show you today especially since there is some shenanigans going on between the projectile and condition overload. There is some weird scaling going on in there but I feel like that's gonna be changed in the future. The main downside of this setup is that even if you stack up your berserker fury the combo is still really slow. So I would highly recommend against using this combo all the time. Just use normal combos and if you run into something really really beefy give it a few swings with this special one. Now the second setup is considerably more fun which is also why it's my favorite. It's still running the hybrid stuff so we have blood rush, organ chatter and weeping wounds for our crit and status but I'm only running primed pressure points since I don't want to mess around with condition overload though you could of course run condition overload here if you want to. And then it's running virulent scourge and volcanic edge for gas as well as berserker fury and quickening for a ton of attack speed. This setup is definitely more of a corpus and infested killer, it's not quite as good versus the grenier and the corrupted though if you have a reliable way of grouping them up so that you can overlap your gas clouds it's still gonna be really good. And this setup is all about the unique combo and its projectiles so you build up your combo counter with standard attacks or I personally use slide attacks and then you just use the special block combo. This is definitely my favorite Arkan weapon, it's really fun though I must say the attack speed on these combos is just atrocious, please make them a little bit faster. Because on my main build I'm running two attack speed mods and most of the time I'm running Warcry on my arrows as well and I still feel like it could use a little bit more attack speed. Like that's ridiculous. But other than the attack speed the weapon is really good. Like even if you're not gonna use the projectile it is still worth picking up. It is a very nice whip. And speaking about the projectile, the damage on it seems to be a little bit all over the place. Most of the time it's doing sensible amounts of damage, right? It goes up on a headshot and the red crits do more damage of course, but every now and then it just does like unreasonably high amount of damage and one shots everything in its path and I'm not entirely sure why. But anyway, this weapon is really really good, I'm giving it a thumbs up, go ahead and pick it up. And that's pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching as always guys, I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.